Welcome to Customer Premise Equipment and Application, Module 5 in the series on Fundamentals of Telecommunications. Once again, I'm Ted Chandler, your CIS instructor for this online course. In this module, you will learn to first discuss the purpose of customer premise equipment in a telecommunications network, identify the significant components of a modern telephone, discuss the varieties of station equipment, explain how private switching systems integrate with both customer premises equipment and the PSTN, and finally, you'll be able to describe how enhanced CPE services and applications work and how business benefits from using them. Customer premise equipment includes telephones, modems, fax machines, answer machines, and so on, and the equipment which may or may not be owned by the customer. Everything on the customer side of the demarcation point is known as customer premise equipment, or CPE, because it resides on the customer's premises. In telecommunications, a telephone and any connecting parts are known as station equipment because in the business world, they are located at a worker station or desk. Now let's take a look at a typical wirebound, wirebound telephone. Note the following components, the handset transmitter and receiver, the external speaker, and a touch tone keypad which older telephones used rotary dialers. And specifically, note the switch hook. This is the mechanism that is depressed when a headset is hung up. In addition to closing a circuit, Lifting a switch hook alerts the switch at the end office and the par that the parties wa want to make a call. Depressing the switch hook may provide additional functions. Note that when the handset is lifted, a circuit is made between the wall jack and the handset which completes the circuit in the local loop. Telephone systems use direct current DC electricity and the local telephone companies in North America provide negative 48 volt current from their class 5 central offices. The current then carries voice signals, tones such as dialing and ringing tones and signals about call status. The phone line that enters a residence usually contains at least four wires or two pairs of wires. The first pair is green and red. Green is the tip and red is the ring. The second pair is black and yellow. Black is the tip and yellow is the ring. The ring wire is used to transmit signals. It's the wire that carries a negative 48 volt uh, charge from the central office's battery to a telephone. The tip wire is used to ground the loop. It's the wire that supplies the ground or zero charge from the central office's batteries to the telephone. Inside the subscriber's home, the pair wires terminate at a standard jack known as an RJ11. Touch tone or simple tone dialers operate operate by transmitting a combination of two frequencies each time a button is pressed. For example, pressing the number 6 generates a combination of a 770 hertz tone and a 1477 hertz tone. This type of encoding is known as dual tone multifrequency or DTMF. The local telephone central office's switch translates these combined frequencies into the numbers with a DTMF receiver. To shield against surges, telephone companies use station protection devices at both their central offices and at the demarcation point for every subscriber line. These devices use a glass tube to short the circuit and divert incoming high voltage to a ground. At a demarcation point, a grounding wire might be connected to a ne uh, nearby metal pipe such as water pipe, but they also may be connected to the uh, building's ground. Pay telephones provided for public use require coins, 
collect, uh, collect or credit card payment to complete calls. In the telecommunication industry, a pay telephone is more commonly called a COCOT, C-O-C-O-T, or customer-owned co coin-operated telephone. COCOTs are more difficult to manage than regular subscriber telephone sets. In particular, they are susceptible to vandalism and fraud. The primary component in a pay telephone is the totalizer, which determines what type of co coin was deposited and relays the information to the switch through pulses of brief dual frequency tones. After the caller drops a coin into a pay telephone, its magnetism, weight, and the diameter are tested to verify that it is a coin that is not a fraudulent replica. To deter vandals, cocots may sound alarms and issue messages to the local central office when they have been physically damaged. Cordless telephones do not require a physical wire-bound connection to a telephone set, but it still relies on a stationary telephone or base station to connect to the PSTN. The base station transmits the telephone signals it receives from the inside wiring to the cordless telephone over a single frequency, which may belong to one of several ranges, for example, 49 megahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. To exchange signals, both the cordless handset and the base station of a cordless phone contain a radio transmitter, antenna, and receiver. The main drawback to cordless phones is the ease with which signals can be picked up by uh, eavesdroppers, which can be minimized by using spread spectrum transmission, which are signals separated and distributed over a wide range of frequencies. A key telephone system, or KTS, is a private switching system that provides centralized line and intercom access, plus other enhanced services for multiple telephone users within a small organization. Small offices up to 50 users are most apt to use KTSs. For large organizations, a more sophisticated computerized telephone system is used, and it's called a PBX, or Private Branch Exchange. A KTS typically consists of a wall-mounted control console that connects to the organization's internal phones and to the telephone company's end office. This key system unit signals the telephone attendant about incoming calls, controls busy indicator lights on line buttons, and tracks call information among the other tasks. A KTS usually handles lines from the, telephone's company, from the telephone company and connects them to multiple telephone inside, telephones inside an organization. Basically, a KTS saves small organizations money by substituting numerous extensions for hard telephone numbers that are costly to obtain from the telephone company. Features of electronic KTSs include call forwarding, call identification, direct inward dialing, do not disturb, message waiting, music on hold, station restrictions, and voicemail. A private branch exchange, or PBX, is a switch owned and operated by a business or other private organization that connects their multiple telephone sets to one or more central offices. It provides call setup and routing within an organization, plus a host of enhanced features. A PBX differs from a KTS in that it is more sophisticated and can operate independently of the telephone company for internal calls. A PBX provides its connected telephones with dial tone and connect an organization to the PSTN through a trunk. A PBX consists of four significant elements. The, sta the station lines, which are lines that connect individual telephone sets to the switch. The central processor, which is the computer that oversees all PBX operations 
including processing incoming calls, outgoing calls, call setup, routing, supervision, and data gathering. The switching module, which is the equipment that accomplishes the call setup, routing, and supervision, just as a switch in a central office does. And finally, the trunks. These are the lines that connect the switch to the central offices. PBX may support digital or analog transmission over its trunks, and the PBX trunks may connect to the, the LEX or the IXCs or other private switching systems. A permanent circuit that connects two PBXs together is called a tie trunk. Features offered by a PBX include the automatic call distribution, the automated route selection, computer telephone integration, power failure provisions, station message detail recording, system management, truck, trunk queuing, unified messaging, and wireless capabilities. These are all the features offered by a PBX. The word Centrex derives from, from, from central exchange. Centrex is a switching system that provides a similar, features, similar features as the PBX, but the services are supplied from the LEX central offices. In a, in a Centrex system, a business, line, uh, business lines are separated from other PSTN lines at the LEX central offices and only the subscriber's business can, be, can use them. In addition to the basic dial tone, the LEC assigns services to those lines, such as call forwarding, voicemail, and station call reporting. A computer at the central office controls these features as well as call setup, routing, and supervision. One advantage to using a Centrex system is its reliability. Because Centrex services runs from the central office, it can depend on the continuous power supply, security, and problem detection that a CO maintains. Automatic call distribution, or ACD, is a method of distributing incoming calls evenly over multiple stations according to a quantity of calls handled free time or availability. An ACD answers an incoming call, analyzes information about the call, and then forwards the call. Computer telephony integration, or CTI, is a method of joining the features of a private switch and the features of a network computer. CTI computerizes the switching process. It provides the intelligence behind other applications, such as ACD and interactive voice response. Some of the significant media processes features that CTI enables include voice message recording and playback, fax storing and sending, speech recognition and text-to-speech translation. For instance, your CTI-enabled computer could read an email message to you and online call reporting. Some of the customer data management features that CTI uh, enables include access to personal phone books saved uh, on the network, call a database recorders that appear when a number is selected from the phone book, retrieval of customer calling patterns and billing information, and, and much more. Significant call control functions that CTI enables include automatic dialing from a PC interface, call screening based on incoming phone uh, ID numbers, call forwarding program through a simple PC interface, automated attendance services, and call logging, and the collection of call accounting data. This completes Module 5 in the Customer Premise Equipment and Applications. Please take your online quiz 5, then I'll see you in module 6, signaling and switching.